So everybody, Carlos said I'm back. Well, right now I'm working on this tea uh, bike over here. Took me a while to try to get the. I said I bought me one of them rack bars. You go on the back, and uh, boy, I never, I never work on bikes like you know. I used to change tires, maybe. Just to, you know, put a new tube in it, you know, put on a seat or something. But damn, when you put one of the little bike rack things in the back of that shit, you know, the one I got is made for swim. <clears throat> and I'm trying to understand how to lock it, lock it down, you know. So, yeah, they had alloy wrench the uh, screws in it, and I decided to switch it up from alloy screws just to find me some screws I just took off the bike, so. Right now it's locked and loaded. Now I gotta try to make sure my damn tail light stays on there. Which I'm gonna take the front piece off. I, it's a detail thing. I like to, you know, well hell, let me show it to you. Anyway, this is my details about what I'm gonna do to it. <clears throat> now this front end, you see right here, this piece, this is about to get ready to come off. That's just cause it used to have a light right there, but it ain't no more longer a light because the little thing, the teeth broke off. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna replace it with like a, with a wood piece. And I got a cross I'm gonna put on. Now the whole idea about this bike is that, well, I wanna take that piece off, but I'm working on it. But the wire that goes all the way back this way, I just took that off. I wanna take all this off because, you know, they don't need, but I want ties to hold my bag up. I was trying to find another one, but, you know, this just have to do with the, the electric tape that I have ain't working. This is the rack that I put on. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it here, but this is just the rack that I just put right back on, well, on, and that took me a while. That's my tail light, of course. It's workable. It's been raining and dirt, so you know, it's been trying to get itself together. So that's the main thing that why well, I got to tell like. So I'm trying to put it all this together to where I can have my <clears throat> thing. But this, if you see, needs to be painted. All of it. This is my favorite color bike, which you know is my <clears throat> favorite color blue. As you always see in my art and detail, but it's just that the fact that uh, I'm trying to get it into my navy blue color and then do my marble design that you see my logos and everything in. Because that's my shit, which is roll marble, that's what it's called actually. But it's mine. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to work on a little bit more detail. I got lights and stuff on it, but I'm trying to get the ties. So. That gets us to a point. I've been work, trying to work on it all this time. But I had to take time to fix the dragon over there, which you didn't see, which you probably see one of these days. But it's an innocent thing, and one of the heads broke off, it was forcing. So I went and got some, you know, gel like super glue, and I fixed that up. So now it's sitting there pretty, but I've been one of, I bought that thing about two weeks ago. And I ain't, I mean, the, which is the rack on the bike. Bought that two weeks ago and never even put it on, so. Today is exactly the day I'm gonna try to put it back on. Well, put it on, sorry. But, yeah. So once I get it on, I put the seat back on. Cause I wanna get a new seat, but shit, I ain't gonna, you know, it's up to me, whatever, cause I don't wanna put a new seat. And then I gotta paint it, you know what I'm saying? Cause the whole shit's gonna be painted. Which I'm gonna do primer black first because that would be the base for the navy blue color. You know what I'm saying? It'd be navy blue metallic. I'm gonna have a flake in it, and the flake gonna be also covered with a clear blue, where it's gonna be a bluish flake, okay? Which is gonna be clear. But then, of course, I'm gonna put clear, cover everything up, so it's gonna be really glossy, really fancy, but. You know, you ain't know this detail at the time, especially when it's been raining a lot, you know. But anyway, 
I'm just burning this moment for right now, but I'm gonna come back here as soon as I get done with this. This is what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the fact that I'm trying <clears throat> to say what normally when I was starting off the pay that I was getting, when they start taking money out of that, I don't have enough to pay for this place, my phone, and you know, my electric bill. But you know, that's just pretty much it. But now I actually just spend a little time doing something, getting the the smallest things, but like I say, you know, I have so many thoughts in my mind about what I'm trying to do, trying to get, trying to do everything, I mean, you know, it's, it's just a massive situation where I'm trying to catch up with a lot of things, even, you know, with this, but this is the catch up part. If you start seeing more videos on from this thing on, it's because that I'm finally caught up from what you see. So anyway, I know it's not normal to most documentaries, but I don't give a shit. <clears throat> so, but anyway, that's pretty much the news report about what's going on in June. It's the, oh, I ain't told it six months, but it's about the, I'll call it 13th, it's supposed to be Friday 13th. Ooh. To me, I look at it like, hey man, it's any other damn day. You just have to watch your players out there and everybody takes it to initiative. You know, to me, I don't believe it. I think because hell, I have issues, troubles, and problems every day. And when I work up there in that job, I'm telling you, hell, it's Friday 13th every day. I don't give a damn what it is. So, I mean, I'm just here doing what I gotta do. But, yeah, can I catch up? Yeah, I'm gonna see what else I'm gonna do. Pretty much it. I mean, all the stories about June because this is the, uh, like I say, the 13th day, and you know, I mean, this is where now I'm gonna start catching up on a lot of stuff. Of course, you start seeing me doing a lot more video now. I'm having an idea about, you know, get maybe try to get another camera. I mean, I'm seeing more for like a hundred or something, <clears throat> uh, hundred twenty something. It's one of them handheld ones. It's like, yeah, handheld with the screen on the side. <clears throat> Seems to be kind of nice. Something I like to get. But um, yeah, I don't want to get rid of my little buddy right here. But according to the sound wise, as you travel, you know, I know this thing starting to spit and you know sound fucked up and sometimes. If I'm too close, it, I mean, it, it fuck with the speakers, I know, so, I'm trying my best to get the best technology I can, but right now, it's like I said, man, yeah, like everything else, I'm busting and starting over again, and I've been doing 
pretty much okay. I mean, it, it takes hard work to do what I do. Um, oh, it, it's just playing hard work. I mean, I got other projects in mind. Oh, yeah. I'm also coming out, which y'all already know, Storyline Art Video Productions is part and mine of CRMO Arts and Entertainment. So if you don't know, or you probably do know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, I'm just letting you know from my mouth to you so you can able to see and understand that, yeah, it comes together. Because I just want to divide between the art and what I do with videos and stuff. So Now, like I said, I got another project I thought of mine. But it's going to cost, you know, the system itself and then another system and then the stuff to go with it. Not saying all at once it's gonna be bits and pieces. That's what sucks about getting there, getting paid every two weeks. You know, I wasn't been on social media, as you probably already know. I haven't been on social media because, to my perspective, you know, I mean, nobody really says shit to me. Man, so many times I've been expressing my art, expressing my way, expressing my blogs, expressing my, you know, just whatever videos and stuff. It's just like. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not that interested, so fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm looking at it like this point right here. I'm doing for me. You know, so I can't be worried about what everybody else thinks. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm doing it. You're not. So I'm just like, shit. You know what? You know, I mean, everybody's doing something. It's just that shit. I can't catch interest and I ain't going to give a fuck. But I do care. About doing what I'm doing, and it's my love. Hey, that shit. I can't have nobody else sit up here and want to help me out. I said, my sister, she would have helped me, but you know, my sister's got to do what she got to do too. So basically, what I was doing earlier, of course, you know, I was working on my bike, which is a project that I was just pretty much explaining to you about. You know, I'm going to try to change the paint job on it. I might actually got a design that I've thought about doing on it, but. You know, I know it's kind of in a balance between, you know, hooking this thing up for my kind of way of style ride and hooking up, well, talking to Ron's man friend or something like that about just what kind of vehicle he got to make me see if I could get one. But, I can't get one, but the problem is, it's just like I was saying earlier before, that, you know, once you get a vehicle, now I'm, I'm in payment plan with this guy, on top of insurance, and top of, you know, a whole bunch of shit, you know, insurance, car payments, and, and, and knowing that, I gotta buy the tag for it, so, I mean, you know, the tag ain't probably no problem, but you know, <clears throat> every year that's what happens. But the insurance thing, I don't know how much they're gonna hit me on because I had the speeding ticket, you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, I, it might hit me on that. And then, let me see, the, it's the payment, I don't know how much I can make agreement with this guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working on the balance of, hmm. Keep my rent paid, and um, but yeah, my electric bill. But you, I'm about to pay him up on this other payday, and then also I don't have food stamps no more. So it's the fact that I, well, I don't have Georgia food stamps. I had Kansas food stamps, and I was going to send the paperwork to take care of that, but it got to the point where I didn't. I kind of slipped out on that. I paid my rent, but I wasn't going to send that out. But then it just come out for the fact that I don't have no more so I can reapply but then again they might look at me like well you didn't pay this blah 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 and then shit you probably won't get it yeah I'm gonna do that I'm like say you know how much they take it out of my check but to me I don't eat that much anyway you know so you know, even though I like to eat but not eat like I used to so I'm just gonna kind of like well you know I get what I need so what's tonight I gotta go get what I need again. <clears throat> but anyway, oh, actually in the morning when I leave out of there, I get what I need. Um, you know, ain't nothing else happening really, man. Tonight's work night. 
And then also, what I've been doing lately was that while I was making my <clears throat> money plot plans about what I was going to do, and what happened was that I kind of mixed up the month because the next month we get paid three times. But uh, this month twice. So, but when it comes by the next month, I've been smooth, I've been taking care of business. But it's just that on rent part. But other than that, no, it was a, you know, the point is that, you know, it's a sacrifice, like I always do. You know what I mean? Sacrificial about what's important and what I need. I've been talking about the computer thing, computer thing, computer thing. I've been talking about that shit from last year to the time I left, to the time I had it, you know. Dude, my baby girl satanic, I've been saying it to her all the time. And I, mean, I promised myself that I've been saying to this video I was going to do it. And I finally got it. So, I mean, the promise is that I will do something like this. To me, it makes me happy. I don't care. You know, I mean, this is my social media. My video is my social media. If you get to know me, want to get to know me, sit back your ass and watch this shit. Damn. You know? Watch me type some bullshit down. I ain't gonna no really gonna fucking do nothing. You can watch my art and see what kind of style I push out, but you know, that's that. You know, you might go to YouTube and watch my other videos, but you now who the fuck gonna do that? So, anyway, I don't give a damn. I'm just like I said, man. People just hate me for just cause I'm just me. Hmm. Oh, too bad, too sad. Hmm. So, this was what I was trying to do is a little, uh, not a little funny, but it's just something that I, I want to do to catch up on, you know, a lot of hard work that I did. I just did some stuff, but you already know in the video. <laughs> I guess I want to just kind of explain everything right now, what I've been doing, but by the time I get this all mixed up, you know, you probably already know about it. So I don't want to just kind of kill the whole moment, because to me, I'm not a... You know, I'm, I ain't with the class for directing. I ain't with the class for acting. I ain't with the class to, you know, tell the, not to tell the secrets of what you do. I don't give a fuck. I look at it like hell, man. Life is like hell. You never know if you live today or tomorrow. So, <clears throat> I just tell it like it is. So, man, what time is it? Yeah. about 30 minutes before I get ready to roll out and we get out to the damn Wally world again. And no telling what my name will be. So, alright, maybe we'll just, you find out some more what up with shit. <laughs> Hello, well I'm just taking this moment to show you guys, yeah I'm on my bike. See, I'm on my wheels, and I'm heading straight to the job. So I want you guys to see what it's like for me riding up to my shit. But of course, I had to stop. I was smoking a cigarette. <clears throat> then, fortunately, the kid got his ass left. And so he used him, gave him a cigarette, a light, and a damn pump. Ain't that a bitch? <clears throat> anyway. Cutting on in this short. You see all the wacky ass people. They're rolling up. And I got motherfuckers behind. Friday, y'all. Motherfuckers on some serious ass bullshit tonight. Here's ass bullshit. Man, check this one in the ass. <laughs> Crazy fuck. What's going on with you? Yeah. Friday, ha ha. Uh, yeah, I know. But I'm saying shit. Yeah, I'm working tonight too. Oh. <clears throat> <sighs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, bring it out, freight and all that bullshit. Yeah, I would be at home, just more or less sitting on my ass. Shit, We're watch. Smoking weed out on our front porch. Yeah. Shit, or in the house. Or in the house. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, you ain't got nothing that match. <laughs> Well, front porch be all right, but see, I'm like my next door neighbor front, man. Uh-uh, hell no. <laughs> you get a whip of that shit. Oh, 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 oh. Is that a... No. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, like the neighbor across the way. It's the neighbor coming through there. Shit. No. See, I'm not fucking grass. Yeah, there you go. That's why I'll be like, uh-uh. <laughs> shit. Nah. Yeah, I'm trying to look for some good ones, but shit, man. I ain't smoking five months. Man, they're almost six now. Shit. I would if I wasn't broke. <laughs> yeah. I ain't broke, but it's just that hell. I don't know who got better deals out here and shit. I don't really trust too many of these mugs out here. So, I uh, Knew one guy, he said he knows some people, but shit, I'd rather him go get it. Yeah, but I ain't talking to these people, man. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm sitting out here waiting to get time to start. I start at 10 o'clock. Right now it's like 9. And double check real quick. 920, so I'm up here early, but I would be anyway because I didn't feel like riding my bike and then coming up here and start up and shit, so. But, uh, yeah, Friday night, bro, and shit. It was funny that, you know, I was about to say, coming from Atlanta, you know, sis is always the finest thing that I would always say on this video, Satanica, she got the both big, pretty as ass, like my baby, you know, I love her, but. You know, Atlanta, you got the finest man, built women, and you know, I love black women, but you didn't turn around, you come out here, man, and be around a whole different environment, man. You tell you, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know, man, because some things, uh, 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 girls got figures, you know what I'm saying, white, so, man, they got so much bodies out here, man, for a minute. I mean, damn, I mean, I'm seeing one right now, but, uh, Damn, I mean, I, I mean, you know, I guess it's just to the point if you be around at a place too damn long, you, you tend to not look around, but it's just that I don't know. I'm just a man, so yeah, ain't shit changed my damn perspective. Yeah. I look at it like as long as you're a woman, you're all right with me, but you know, I'm not on no hunt. Fuck that shit. I'm out here on a struggle and hustle and grind on my own, so fuck, I'm gonna need to do with a woman right now. Except the one I really love, my baby girl, but she's far away and plans are to uh, get, you know, get my shit together out here and give me a ride and once I do that, she transfer to that job, I mean, you know, whatever it is in Atlanta and then, uh, you know, work out there, live with her, we mean, we can live together in our own shit, but, 